Hello viewers, I am Ravi Fani Kumar, expert in SharePoint and Microsoft 365. This is third video in interview series. All these questions are gathered from my friend and colleagues who are attended interview recently. Watch this video till end. This will be helpful for everyone to get job opportunity. So let's start our video. What is HubSite? A HubSite is a collection of modern team site and communication sites connected together, having features like display news, events and site activities. When you search at HubSite, we can get such results from all connected hub sites. Hub sites maintain same navigation at the top. All connected sites can maintain same look and feel. So next question. Difference between authentication and authorization. So here, Intuit would like to understand whether we know the difference between both of them uh, or not. So it requires username and password, who you are. Like when we are entering the username and password, make sure that we are entering the current information, correct information. So that is called authentication. So authorization here, what type of access we are having, whether we are having proper access to access a site or list or not, that we can say that is an authorization. So next question, how we will restore deleted site collection. So here Intro would like to understand whether, like how we will restore the deleted site collection. So what are the options we are having to restore? So we need to explain to them. So in SharePoint Online Admin Center, once we navigate to the Admin Center, there is an option under the sites. We can able to see the deleted sites. From there, we can able to restore the deleted site collection. And using PowerShell also, we can do. But make sure that we are restoring the deleted site within 93 days. So next question. While accessing the SharePoint site page, you will get correlation ID. How you will find error log in ULS logs. So here, interview would like to understand whether we know the concept of SharePoint Online environment or not. So in SharePoint Online, we don't have option to get the correlation ID information. We need to contact Microsoft. So next question. Is it possible to rename the SharePoint Online site collection URL? Answer is yes. A couple of years back, like maybe two years back, uh, this option was enabled. So we can change it from the admin center. So in the admin center, we need to search for the particular site. And once we select the site and click on edit, there we can change the URL by providing the new site address. There is another option which we can try using the PowerShell script as well. So we can use the command like start hyphen SPO site name hyphen identity. We need to mention the old site and hyphen new URL and we need to mention the new site URL so that the URL will change automatically. So the best option is using PowerShell because when we are changing from admin center, sometimes it won't rename the URL based on the content of that particular site. In my scenario, I faced some issues. So it took three, four days time. Still, the site collection was not renamed, but using PowerShell, which it took seconds of time to rename. So best use PowerShell script. So next question. Users are not able to access SPO site. So how you will troubleshoot? So here, whenever the interviewer asking users are not able to access SPO site, we can ask them whether they are getting any error message or not. So, so when I ask that question, the site cannot be reached. The web page at or might site might down or it might move permanently to the new address. So most of the times this issue will come from users. So in that case, when user is hitting the SharePoint URL, automatically it will check the home page. So most of the time the users will delete the home page of that particular site and they don't know what is the impact of deleting that site. So we need to make sure that after the site collection, we need to use the URL like it's a common URL for all the sites underscore layout slash 15 slash vlsts.aspx. So there we can able to access the site contents. If you are able to access the site content, there is no issue in the site. So only the home page got deleted. So from the recycle bin, we can restore that site from the page or if the home page is also not available, we can make the home page as another page in from the site pages library. So next question, types of admin roles. So here interview like to understand whether we know the admin role concept and what are the different type of admin roles available. So we need to remember at least five to six admin roles at the time of interview. So just we need to remember few important like global admin, global reader, SharePoint admin, team service admin, exchange admin, 
user admin authentication admin billing admin license admin and security admin so etc so just remember at least five to six uh, admin roles so the next question external user is not able to access sharepoint online site how we will troubleshoot so most of the times we can see that user is already having access to the sharepoint site but when they are trying to access user will get that user is not in the directory for external user so the initial troubleshooting we need to inform to user that try to open the url in the private window or google incognito window if still user is having the same issue we need to remove the user completely from the site collection and the tenant again we need to re reinvite that particular user so most of the times this will work next question how you will increase the site collection quota so here again the end would like to understand whether how many ways we can increase the site quota and what is the process we will follow so there are two options like either we can increase it from the admin center or using powershell so from the admin center once you search that particular site and once you click on the edit under the storage limit there we can able to increase the site quota and using powershell command also we can increase we can use like set hyphen spo site hyphen identity hyphen site url hyphen site quota you and there we can mention how much size we want to increase next question how users will sync from on-premises uad to azure ad so so like interview like to understand whether we know the concept of user how the users on-premises users will sync with azure ad so here microsoft having a tool called azure ready connect sync tool so it's a microsoft application we can sync users from on premises ad to azure ready so hope all these videos are helpful to everyone for more videos please subscribe to my channel if you need any help related to training or interviews please comment below i will reach you out thank you all